Ladies and gentlemen, from Detroit, Michigan, the world's light-duty truck capital, this is Target Trucks 1987. Here's Jordan Rose. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Very nice. Welcome to Target Trucks. Now, today we're going to take a look at the most extensive lineup of trucks that you have to offer. The 1987 Chevrolet Cargo Haulers. Now, these are the trucks that people and businesses count on to move anything from flowers to furniture. Because cargo can be anything from, oh, a small package right on up to lumber and steel. Now, that's why there's so many varieties of cargo haulers. Like these vans. Now, this Astro, used for carpet cleaning. This full-size Chevy van, used by a florist. This high cube, owned by a moving company. Step van, used by an office furniture and supplies company. And that's just part of the story. There are chassis cabs, like this S10 stake bed. This full-size contractor's body that's been outfitted for some special uses. Medium duties, like this stake bed and this flat bed, for the really biggest cargo hauling needs. Now, most people, that's just a sampling, by the way, of what you have to offer. Most people that buy medium and light duty cargo haulers, they're business people. They're interested in how these trucks will produce for them, how hard they'll work, how long they'll last. And as business people, they're also interested in price. Now, I've got to tell you, there's a lot more to a cargo hauler than just how much it costs to drive it out the door. A lot of these people, they never drive these trucks themselves, but their employees do. Now, the performance and the functional design of the truck, that can affect how efficiently these employees will do their jobs. Now, the design of the truck should make the driver's job easier. It should speed the process, not slow it down, because that can have an impact on the bottom line. Now, when you're selling a cargo hauler, try and sell it from the, the business person's point of view. Tell them about the value in it. Now, what's the best way to see the value? To see one of these trucks on the job. So earlier today, we sent our camera crews out with three Chevy cargo haulers that are owned by local businesses. And these jobs are actually, these trucks rather, are actually on the job. The drivers that we're going to see are the drivers that work with these trucks day in and day out. Let's take a look. Jordan, I'm here at Stationers Wholesale where Specs Office Supply gets merchandise for delivery to their retail customers. Ken, the driver, has just backed the Astro cargo van into the loading area to pick up a sizable load for today's run. Now, this is what I mean when I say a truck should be properly designed. Astro is the compact for cargo hauling. Now, most compacts feature this awkward rear lift gate. You'll notice here that the Astro has rear swing-out doors that open almost a full 180 degrees for easy access inside. It also has an unobstructed flat-ribbed load floor, which makes it easier to slide the cargo in and out. And inside there, there's over four feet between the rear wheel housings. Now, the rear step bumper, which is standard, features a tread strip for sure footing. Now that bumper also makes it easier for the driver to reach inside where there's room for almost 190 cubic feet of cargo. Now you're going to see in just a minute when he starts to close up these rear swing doors that Astro's doors are a one-handed operation. Now Astro features rear wheel drive. That's one of the reasons it can carry up to a net payload of 1,700 pounds and can tow up to 5,000 pounds when properly equipped. Now you may have noticed that there wasn't a spare tire to get in the driver's way back there. That's because Astro has an underbody spare tire carrier. Now that's an option that's a solid investment for anybody that's buying this truck and using it to haul cargo. Now another avail available option is the 27 gallon fuel tank, which is the largest of any compact. Now that extended fuel range means that this van can spend less time on the gasoline lines and more time making deliveries. That's important to a buyer, point it out to him. That's a good time to talk about engines. In 1987, standard on all the light duty V6 and V8 gasoline engines is electronic fuel injection. Big benefit to your buyers. That's something else you can point out to them. Now, this year, Astro, Chevy vans, and high cubes with gasoline engines have the serpentine belt. Now, remember that we cover the serpentine belt and electronic fuel injection on our work pickups program. Now, I'd like to take a minute, if I can, here and review the Chevy cargo haulers with you and try and see if I can give you some insight into what you have to sell. All right, first, there's the Astro. Now, that's the most compact of the Chevy cargo haulers, is the Astro. Yet, it features a net payload of up to 1,700 pounds, and it'll carry almost 190 cubic feet of cargo. And we've just seen that it's better designed for hauling cargo than most other compacts on the market. 
Next, we come to the full-size Chevy vans. Now, they're available in three series and gross payload ranges. Over one ton in the 10 and 20 series, and over two tons in the 30 series. With up to 260 cubic feet of cargo space, this truck's very popular with people that have to haul a little larger load. Now, high cube. This is the perfect in-between choice for people that need a little more room than you have in a full-size Chevy van, but less room than you have in, like, say, a step van or medium duty. And it has a payload rating up to 4,732 pounds. Now, get this little baby up there. Step van. This is the largest light-duty cargo hauler in the Chevy lineup. It has almost 890 cubic feet of cargo space. It has payload ratings up to 8,479 pounds. Now, the step vans are especially designed for businesses with a lot of frequent stops and door-to-door -door deliveries, like linen services, florists. The seat sits high so the driver can get in and out very easily, and he has lots of walk-through height so he won't bump his head when he's moving around back there. Now, finally, a full range of medium duties. Now, these are for your really the biggest cargo hauling needs. With a gross vehicle weight rating up to 50,000 pounds in the Tandem Axle 70 series. Now, that's over 25 tons of vehicle and freight. These trucks are used for the really largest and heaviest construction materials and some very special cargo hauling needs. Now, earlier today when our camera crew was out, we had them take a look at one of the newest medium duties, a Tiltmaster. Let's go now and take a look at it. Jordan, we're here with the Chevy Tiltmaster outside of PartSmart. It's a mobile homes parts distributor. Now, Steve, the driver, is getting ready to roll, but first of all, he's going to check the oil and the coolant level. You can see how the Tiltmaster got its name. Let's bring the camera around here so we can get a better look at what Steve's doing. Okay, I think you can see here how easy it is to work on the Tiltmaster. You can check your engine and your oil coolants. You can check your belts and your hoses. And you can do all of that without having to climb back up in your engine compartment like you do. You have to do that on most other medium duties. Now, you're going to see here how easy it is to lock that cab back into position and get on the road. Here he goes. A little flick there. There he is. Got it locked into position. Now, that's the W4 Tiltmaster. It has a gross vehicle weight rating of up to 11,000 pounds. Now, there's also a W7 and a W7 Heavy Duty, which has the same basic cab design. Now, the Heavy Duty model has a gross vehicle weight rating up to 33,000 pounds. Now, we'll come back to the Tiltmaster in just a few minutes. But first, I want to take a look at a very special vehicle, a High Cube. Now, a High Cube basically is a Chevy van cab with a large van body mounted behind the cab area. Now, as I mentioned earlier, these trucks serve some very special uses, and many, like the one we're going to look at, does more than just haul cargo. Our suburban glass crew is just arriving at this location. They're here to replace a glass panel. Now, the size of the high cube allows Mike and Tony to utilize the back of the truck as a workstation on wheels. In fact, uh, why don't we have the camera come on in, take a closer look at the size available. Okay, now interior room, that's one of the largest selling features with a high cube. It's available in 10 and 12 foot bodies with up to 570 cubic feet of cargo or workspace. And it comes in low cost steel or lightweight aluminum. Now you can see here how unobstructed the walkthrough area is and how easy it is for that worker to move around back there. Now this particular truck has a rear overhead door. Standard on these trucks are the rear swing out doors. Now, many buyers will outfit these high cubes with the racks and the bins like we see here on the left and the right in that truck. Now, you'll notice when he's coming out, this worker, that the rear step bumper features a full width tread plate for sure footing for going in and out. Now, the high cube does not have to be used as a workstation. With gross vehicle weight ratings up to 10,500 pounds, it's an excellent truck for a lot of cargo hauling needs, things like appliances, light delivery, and more. Now, a cargo hauler does not have to come up short on creature comforts just because it's a work truck. Interior conveniences are very important for a driver that, well, he spends the better part of his day out there on the road. Let's take a look now and see what our camera crew discovered inside the Tiltmaster, huh? Jordan, we're here at Today's Homes. They're a mobile home dealer. Steve's inside finishing a little paperwork. I've had a chance to look at the inside of this truck. I'd like to point out a few things to you. Well, first we've got a windshield washer with reservoir in the door. Brake fluid fills up here. Handle to get into the truck. Got an adjustable column here. 
Seat tilts back and forth. Lumbar support. Even have a roof vent up here. Oh, Steve's in now. I got to get out of the way. That's all from here, Jordan. Okay, now medium duties like the tilt master are often used on long hauls, and those are the kinds of features that make that driver's job just a little easier on a long run. Notice here how the cab sits over the axle, directly over the axle. There's no overhang. The design of the tilt master was done for a reason, maneuverability. Now you see that was very tight. You can see just how maneuverable that design makes that truck. In fact, the tilt master is the most maneuverable of the medium duty cargo haulers. The short wheelbase model has a turning diameter of about 44 feet. Now that's just about the same as a Dodge Caravan. Very impressive for a truck that can carry the loads that Tiltmaster can carry. Now before we run out of time here, I want to stress that I'm just not going to be able to cover everything that you need to know about selling Chevy cargo haulers in this program. But in addition to selling the product features, it's absolutely critical that you pay attention with these trucks, that you pay attention to details. Components like the proper springs, axles, tires, interior cargo capacity, payloads, all of that has to be matched to the specific needs of the buyer. Now, where do you get that information? In your Chevy truck fax book has it all neatly laid out for you. Qualify your customers. I mean, you're going to be hearing that a lot in these programs, but it's important. Qualify your customers. Find out what his specific needs are as it relates to how much room and weight capacity. Now, once you've got that information, you can go to this book and it'll show you how to properly equip that truck. Now, if you're unfamiliar with terms like gross vehicle weight ratings, Turn to your Truck Selections Considerations tab or go to your Truck Basics programs and it'll help you get started. Now, I think most of you will have to agree. Will you hold that for me? Thank you. I think most of you will have to agree that Chevrolet offers the widest choice of cargo haulers around. And each vehicle is designed to do a particular job better than most any other truck. Now, with the addition of the newer models of the Astro and the Tiltmaster, you've got the trucks to keep cargo hauling businesses running smoothly. Anything from a light delivery package to a heavy load to anything in between. You've got the trucks to keep businesses rolling. Thank you. With Chevy Pride. Get them in, take a look, back them out, load them up. Trucking with Chevy Pride.